Hello and welcome to Friday Sews on Saturday. My name is Jen, I am One Girl and Her Machines and uh, first of all we need to say a massive thank you to Jen from today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating the hashtag that brings all these sewists together. So if you have never checked out the hashtag Friday Sews, please do so. There are so many creators out there and it's fantastic to see what they're all up to. It's basically a way to provide you with information on what we've been doing on a weekly basis, sometimes personal, sometimes sewing, sometimes other things. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth checking out. So what have I been up to this week? So the beginning of the week has been all about getting my dissertation, first part of my dissertation into uni. So no fun, no nothing, no, no enjoyability, literally just head down, writing and done. But I'm pleased to say, the first 1800 words are in, woohoo, and I have sent those off. It is now half term in the UK, so equivalent to spring break, I suppose, in America. Um, and uh, I don't know if you have a like, midterm break in, in this term, but we have midterm break. So we are on holiday for a week. The schools are on holiday. My son is off for a week. Uh, and actually, my husband has taken the week off. So it's going to be a really nice week. We are all exhausted. My husband did some ridiculous miles last week for work. And, uh, and we're very, very tired. But we have some fun stuff for us things that we enjoy coming up this week. We are off to Alton Towers, which is probably the UK's biggest theme park. Um, and they do a fantastic Halloween um, themed event every year that we go to with my family. There are normally nine of us that, no, that's not right, Jen. There's seven of us that go. And, um, and we will, we just, you know, stay there till late in the evening, do the rides in the dark. My son absolutely loved it. All the kids love it. There's three kids and we just have a great time and we're so looking forward to it. So that is where we are off to tomorrow. Um, but today, yesterday, I have I finished my essay on Thursday. So yesterday I treated myself to a day of sewing. You know, I don't, I mean, I, I saw someone this morning, so Carol mentioned that apparently there's a video doing the rounds. I haven't had time to watch anything this week so apparently there is a video doing the rounds and someone was saying about how they're creating for youtube um i don't have time to do that. as you know I, last week i only made resin things i don't have time to create for youtube i create for my sanity um so when i could get time yesterday to sew that's what i did and so what i did make was what i am wearing today um and i will insert some pictures for you it is the tammy handmade raj dress with this beautiful, sorry, it looks completely off skew, but yeah, beautiful square neckline. Um, and I've managed to find a resin thing that I've made in the last few weeks to go with it perfectly. It makes a change to have something coordinated. I don't normally go that far, that's not normally me. But yeah, so I've made a, the Raj dress. Um, it's probably a little bit longer than I would normally have it, but I think with that style, you need to have it more, um, Oh, calf length than you do having it just below the knee. So I'm going to stick with it as this length for the time being. It will be perfect for teaching. Um, I probably could wear it to uni. We'll see. Depends on how dressy I'm feeling like being that day. But um, but yeah, it's it's a really comfortable dress. I think next time I make it, I will probably lengthen the bodice by about two inches and reduce the skirt by about two inches um, because it's very much under my bust. I mean, I even did something to change the way that it constructed it because when I tried it on, I thought, God, this is going to be literally right. It's going to be empire line. I don't want it to be completely empire line. So I, um, I instead of putting the elastic band up, I put the elastic band down. So to make it a little bit longer for me um, on the bodice, you know, I am bustier, so it does have a little bit more room to go over. Um, so yes, that's what I did. So I moved the elastic band down, and it still needs to come down some more. It's not bad. I don't mind the empire line sort of look on me, but it probably would be more comfortable if it was around my waist. And I think from what I remember from the drawings, that's where it's intended to be. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it. I'm very much happy with it, but yeah. I love the color. The fabric is from Rainbow Fabric Kilburn. Um, and I just love the royal blue. Funny enough, I know a lot of people, I think you go two ways. It was my school colour. 
And I think some people are very much like, oh, never wearing royal blue again. And I am actually, I love royal blue. It's one of my favourite colours. Um, and I am more than happy to wear it. So when I saw this fabric, I thought, yeah, I like some of that. So I got it in. It's a beautiful, soft viscose. Um, it has these absolutely stunning little little flowers on them um, in pale blue, yellow and like a darker navy blue. Um, I think that's a navy blue. And um, yeah, the only other thing I will do, actually, I remember this one other thing I will do, is I don't like, I'm going to lean that way. Ooh, how far can I go? Ooh. <laughs> I don't like sleeves that are sort of three quarter lengths and they're just that bit too short for me. I can cope with them. That's fine. If I, if I get to the point where I'm really not happy with them, I will just add on a cuff and make them a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I will definitely elongate the length of the arms next time as well to make them either full length or short sleeve. So yeah. Um, but other than that, I'm really, really pleased. Um, the only other thing I did last week was I made a pair of pants. So probably in line with the whole, whole um, Sew Up Cycle 22 challenge. Um, as you possibly will have seen before in some of my previous videos, I like to steal my son's old t-shirts that don't fit him anymore and make them into knickers or pants, as I think we call them in America. And um, I had a friend around, I was teaching her how to sew and we I wanted something that was small enough that I could cut out on the table while she could use my table as well. And pants was pretty much the perfect thing so we did have a laugh as I was sewing on my bright red knicker elastic onto this sort of camo green coloured um, print. I, unfortunately I don't have them with me, they are actually in the washing because I they have been worn because they're comfortable so why wouldn't I wear them? Um, and, but I will hopefully be putting them out on Instagram on the 31st which I think is the finishing date for the Sew Up Cycle 22 um, because I'm not wasting fabric. My son was very much like, oh, mum, really? And I'm like, well, I'm not throwing fabric away. He's like, fair point, mum, fair point, you know. So <laughs> it was. It's, it's not necessarily appreciated by my son, but he understands that I don't want to waste things so he can deal with it. He's quite happy to be quite um, environmentally friendly. And, you know, obviously they're getting taught a lot about it at school and they understand that things are going to landfill and stuff. So he's quite happy with that side of things. So it's just like, oh, my T-shirts again, mum, really, you know. You are such a weirdo. And I'm quite happy being his weirdo mother. <laughs> I think that is my perfect role. And uh, and I am very good at embarrassing him as often as possible, which I think is a parent's duty to do. Just putting that out there. So um, what else have I done this week? Well, oh, last Saturday we took my son go-karting. It was a present from my dad for his birthday because... Like every child these days, he has pretty much everything he wants. You can't even buy games for computer consoles anymore because they're all online. So you either buy a voucher, which is really naff and boring, or you do an experience with them. So that's what dad chose to do. He chose to pay for him and my husband and my son to go go-karting. And I got to film it because obviously girls don't want to go driving. Not that I'm sore about that at all. You make, that, make of that what you will. But next time we go, I'm driving. As well. So yeah, so he went go-karting. My son was with uh, I think about six or seven adults and three other children and my husband came first, my son came second and he was chuffed to bits. He was in a, a child go-kart so slightly restricted on the speed a bit more than the adults and he absolutely flew around there and I mean he loves a racing game he's always loved Formula One he's always loved cars it is his thing he really desperately wants to be a Formula One driver when he grows up I don't know if I can afford to put him through the stuff like that but hopefully next year when I'm working we can send him off to go-karting and sometimes apparently that can be a route in whether he ends up doing it or not I don't know but as long as he's enjoyed himself and he's found a sport that he really likes to do I just don't mind so for me it's all about social and, and enjoying things i used to ice skate that was my social for well, from the age of eight to 40 and i think it's so important for kids to find the thing that they really like to do he likes karate as well so he does that so if you've got karate and go-karting i think that that will set him up for for a really good social social side of things so that's good so yeah he loved it he absolutely loved it he was bouncing when he came off um 
he does have uh, a suspected sensory processing. So he finds all those sorts of emotions really, really hard to cope with. So he had to, I had to almost sort of shut him down afterwards, which was a little bit stressful. Um, and he was so hangry and everything else, but he, he loved the day. He had a brilliant time. Afterwards, it was a little bit stressful, but other than that, it was fine. It was great. And he definitely wants to go and do it again. So yeah, so super, super proud of him, you know, just for going out there and throwing himself into it, you know, no fear at all. Um, and yeah, really, really good day we had. Um, and other than that, it has literally been writing essays and um, just getting on with uni work, going to uni obviously as well and doing all those fun, fun things that I need to do. Um, and then tomorrow it's off to Orton Tower. So that has pretty much been my week. Um, there has been a bit more playing with resin, but I won't show you all of those as well. Um, but yeah, I've done I've done a few little bits this week. Um, I am hoping before we go today or tomorrow, sorry, I am hoping today to make a another T-shirt um, out of this fabric here. Where are we? Is it upside down? No, it's the right way up. So out of my is it llamas? Hang on. No, deers. I think we decided it was deers. So yeah, out of my deer fabric. Um, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of a hack between the Agnes tee by Tilly and the Buttons and the t-shirt in the stretch book, which I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and do a little bit of a hack. Basically, I want the neckline from the Agnes tee and the body from the other t-shirt. So I'm going to put those together, white ribbing, and that'll be another t-shirt for me to take away. I don't really need any more t-shirts, I won't lie. But um, do we ever need the clothes? I mean, I make the clothes because I want to sew. I don't make the clothes because I necessarily want more clothes. Just putting it out there. Um, the other thing that I had this week was some So Haley Jane fabric. Um, obviously, if you've seen the unboxings, I won't go into it anymore. I used to do the unboxings. I decided not to because there were so many out there. And um, and I knew when I went back to uni, it would just be putting pressure on me that I just didn't need to add to my, to my life. So I thought I'll just show them in my Friday sew. So there are these four gorgeous um, cat fat quarters. Now, my sister is a cat lover. She does have a cat. Um, I quite like this one here. That must have been for me. Um, and then so I will probably try and make something for her a wash bag or something she wouldn't necessarily use anything funky in her house it's just not her but I could make a wash bag and she'd probably really like it so I'll probably make a wash bag for Christmas or something for her and then I got the sort of denim blue colorway of the fabric um and it's a beautiful cotton and while I'm not a shirt wearer I'm really tempted to make myself a shirt or maybe even if I'm feeling nice my husband but I'm not entirely sure it's him so I think it's possibly more me but yeah I really like this it's a really nice fabric and I'm not I always worry or I always wonder what to make with the cottons that come through from So Haley Jane I'm not necessarily such a cotton wearer I find it it's lovely and soft don't get me wrong but I find it more restrictive and more uncomfortable than say a viscose because viscose is so soft and floaty and there's so much more um stability in a cotton I find it really hard to make things or to find something that I really want to make I've made some um indigo dresses out of it but they're not it's not quite so um mobile and floaty and I don't like it quite so much as I do the viscose um I've made a lyra out of a cotton again I I've got to try that dress with a viscose because it's not I still haven't, I, I like the dress, I love the effect, but I don't feel comfortable in it particularly, so I don't necessarily wear it. Um, so yeah, there's, I, I, I always worry, so if, if or I wonder what to wear, so if you've got any suggestions of what to make out of cottons, um, please do put it down. I don't, I just don't want something that's too fitted, too, and I think that suits cottons more. Um, so yeah. Give me suggestions. I'm happy to take any suggestions you want to throw at me for cottons um, or anything, really. Just just, show, just throw it at me. I will take all feedback. It's all good. It's all good. Um, the only other thing that's happened this week, and while it's one of those sort of bittersweet ones, is that the lovely Daisy Dog, who we were looking after, 
has gone home. So obviously we are very happy that her mummy is home. We are very sad to see her go. We have we had a lovely sort of 12 days, I think it was, with her. She was she came out of her shell, she started playing with the puppy, she um was really she just really got in into living here and playing and settled so well. She slept with my son in the evenings because she was so used to sh sort of sleeping on her mum's bed. So he misses her because she gave him comfort in the middle of the night. It's just a bit of a sad, it was a bit of a sad house. She went back, I think it was Thursday. Um, it's a bit of a sad house, but we know obviously she needs to go home to her mummy. It's not that we want to steal her dog, but we um, we just liked having her around and she was just lovely and cuddly. And um, and yeah, so a little bit sad for us, but Daisy Dog's gone. So we are now back to just two dogs, only two dogs. Yeah, um, it's still Madhouse. It's it's always going to be a Madhouse, but that's fine. That's good. That's the way we roll. So yeah, so that has been my week. Again, another busy week, another thing with lots of things to tell you. Um, I have just ordered, I did, I watched a live from Pound and Meter, I think it was last, the other night, and I may have ordered some fabric. I don't need any more fabric, I know, but I thought, I thought, there was thinking, there was one that was a lycra, and I thought, mm, I quite might like the idea of making myself a, a swimsuit for next year. And I always think about that far too late, and I haven't got the fabric and whatever, so I thought, if I've got the fabric in my stash, then I can make it when I'm ready. So that was that. And then I could also make some leggings out of it because it's three metres for something like seven pound or whatever. It was a ridiculous price. And then I also ordered a really nice cotton jersey with little hearts on it. So I will show you those when, when I get them. I'm hoping I will do some form of Friday sews next week, but there will definitely not be a midweek one because obviously I will be in Staffordshire, not in Hampshire where I live. So I'm I'm not going to show you Orton Towers because it normally rains when I go there and it's not so good for filming. So, you know, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed and you've liked what you've seen, please, 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 please subscribe. I am um, hit the 700 mark. Thank you so much. Um, the fact that you want to watch me waffle on about my completely mental life, it just amazes me. Um, and yeah just thank you so much and if you have liked what you've seen and you haven't subscribed please do subscribe oh and before i forget don't forget we have the sewing social day coming up in a few weeks time so if you want to come get booking um there are a few spaces that have already been taking and uh, taken and there are limited spaces so if you are interested in coming please please look into doing it so i will link that below um so that you can do it because it would be lovely to see you there's some other people that have put on there that are too far away and i appreciate that you know no one needs to drive miles on a Sunday morning to come and meet other sewers. But if you are in the sort of within sort of, I don't know, 30, 40 miles of, of the area, then um, I think it is it would be lovely to see you all, basically. So anyway, there we go. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely half term if you are off with the children. And, uh, and I will see you all next week, hopefully. Bye.